guys, so I thought I would do my 2014 favourites for you. I hope this isn't going to go up too late, but if you watch my last video then you'll know that I've moved out, so things are a little bit all over the place. So I'm going to show you my favourite 14 products from 2014. It ranges from beauty, non-beauty and things like that, so I'm just going to get started with my favourite makeup. Now I thought it would be good to do a base, so my favourite base has to be the Rimmel Lasting Finish Nude 25 hour foundation. Now this is probably something that I started liking near the end of the year. This is just something that stands out to me when I think of my favourite foundation because it is a great coverage, it's sort of medium, it's not too light for me and it's not too heavy for me and it's just the perfect coverage that I like. It doesn't last 25 hours at all but it does last quite a while so that is really good and what's not to like because it is a drugstore foundation so it's a really good price as well so I have really been loving that. Moving on to my favourite blusher and this again has actually been something that I've started loving near the end of the year but it is something that is just amazing and it is the Frat Boy by The Balm blush and a lot of people have gone on about this a lot so I thought it was going to be good and this just exceeds my expectations it's an amazing colour and it's a really subtle sort of pinky shade it just looks lovely on a lot of people give me compliments when I wear it and ask me what I'm wearing and I yeah I just love it and I love the packaging as well I think it's really cute so if I've just moved I've just had to change my camera battery so I may look in a different place but going back to the balm frat boy blush this is just an amazing all-rounder and I think this would look great on any skin tone so if you like this let me know or if you want to try it put it in the comment box below and my favourite eyeshadow has to be Stila in the Kitten again. I looked back on my last year's favourites and I'd actually put in Stila in the Light palette into that. And my favourite shade is was always going to be Kitten. It is so pretty. So I'd actually end up buying this just one shade out of the Stila in the Light palette. And I love this so much. I, when I wear this again, I get a lot of compliments. I'm wearing it now. It is just so pretty. It's a lovely champagne base. It's got shimmer to it. It is just amazing. And it's really pigmented and it stays on a really long time. It is quite expensive for just one eyeshadow, but you could get the Steal It in the Light palette and have all different colours as well. But because I'd hit pan on this particular shade, I decided to invest in just the one palette one. Now, this is a setting spray and it's the Urban Decay All Night Art Makeup Setting Spray. The bottle is really gross, so I'm really sorry if you can see that. But I love this so much. I've nearly run out of it, and I really like it. It does keep your makeup on a lot longer. I tend to wear this if I know that I want to, my makeup to stay on a longer time in the day, or if I'm going out for the evening and I want to look nice, I will put this on. You just need to spray a couple of sprays. I have learnt that not to do it too close to your face, because otherwise you end up with like patches all over, and it does not look pretty, okay? But I really like this, and I definitely think I will repurchase it. I know that they do some different ones, so I might check out the different versions. But yeah, I really like this, and I like the fact that it is for making your makeup last longer. I have tried the Max Fix Plus before, but that just tends to make your skin look a bit more dewy and less matte. But I like the fact that this actually does keep your makeup on for longer. And moving on to lip products, and I've decided to put one more subtle shade in here, and one darker shade, or bright shade. And the ultimate favourite of mine, you guys will probably know what it is, and I'm wearing it now, it's MAC Please Me. And I had to put this in here. I don't know if I did put it in the last year's one. I can't remember, even though I did watch it. I am really getting through this. I just love this so much. It's the perfect, subtle pink shade. Your lips butt better. And it's just so super pretty. And again, this is something that I get a lot of compliments on when I wear it, in my videos, and if on Instagram and things like that. So I love it so much and I would definitely repurchase this again if I ran out of it. It is just amazing. And now for a bright lip. I was loving this this year, especially in the summer months. And this is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet Lipstick in Ole Flamingo. I think it's Ole, but it might just be Old Flamingo, I'm not sure. Or it's number five. But it is a really bright pink, kind of reddy shade. It's more pink than red. But I love this so much. And what is really good about this is it goes on like a liquidy type consistency. And then it dries to matte. And then it is an amazing stain. It stays on for so long through food, through whatever. I just tend to kind of top this up after maybe an hour of wearing it. And then you're good to go for a lot longer. I would say that this lasts like all day. And I'm saying all day. And probably through to the next day, overnight. It is amazing. And I definitely want to check out some of the other shades. But this one is particularly my favourite. Because bright pink is definitely my favourite. 
but yeah I love that a lot now to get all this makeup off I needed a good makeup remover and this is one that I was loving this year and it is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and I love this a lot I've repurchased this a couple of times this year and I have tried a couple of different ones in between this and I always end up coming back to this because I love it this is meant to be a really good dupe of the Bioderma but some people have even said that this is better so I do love this I found that a lot of other dupes or different ones tend to make my eyes sore or dries me out but this one is just perfect and what I love about this as well I love the packaging considering this is a really good price as well you can normally get this on offer for like two pound or something ridiculous but I think normally it's about four or five pound but I tend to kind of always make sure that I get it when it's on offer and then it lasts a really long time so I love that a lot moving on to a skincare product that I had to mention and this is an amazing skin product if you just feel like you need to give your skin a bit of loving now I don't tend to get too many issues with my skin, I only get the blemishes in the hormonal periods. But this is the Pie Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Fruit and Seed Oil Blend and this is amazing for just moisturising your skin. It's also really good for scarring spots and I think it does help with spots as well. But basically I would use a cleanser and then a toner and then I would whack this on just before bed and then let it soak in while I slept. And this is amazing, as I say, if your skin feels a bit dry or you just feel like it needs a bit of a boost, this is just really nice. And I've had this for a while and I don't use it every night, but this has hardly gone down. Now, I think it's about £20, but literally you don't need much of it at all, maybe like two drops and it covers your face. Now, some people think that this stinks and doesn't smell particularly nice at all, but I've got used to it and I actually now kind of like the smell, but I have let a couple of my friends smell it and they're like, oh, that's disgusting. But yeah, I really like it and... I just think it's a really nice product to have on your bedside if you want to just give your face a little bit of loving, you know, at night. I would never put this on in the morning, just at night time. This year I have also loved Lush products, particularly their bubble bars. I just think they are amazing and I don't buy the bath bombs anymore just because you only get one use out of them and then it's a lot of money just for one bath. But with bubble bars you can use them as many times as you want. I used to put all of the bubble bar in the bath but now I have tend to like do a few. And one in particular I want to mention because I have used this a couple of times already and it's the Christmas Eve bubble bar. I love the smell of this, it is so like soothing and nice and this created so many bubbles in the bath, it's just crazy. Unfortunately this won't be on sale now after Christmas which is really sad but I will think I will have to stock up next Christmas because I love them so much. I've also been loving the comforter bubble bar and I always like the candy kind of ones, the really sweet ones. So yeah, I'm loving those. If you want to see some of the bubble bars that I got for Christmas, then I'll link that video in the box below. Moving on to a hair product that I have been loving. I believe I actually got this last Christmas and it's the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. Now this is quite an expensive product. It's about £20. Actually, I didn't get it for Christmas. I bought it for myself. But yeah, it's £20 or £25. So it's really expensive. But it smells incredible. And you tend to put this on wet hair, so you'll come out the shower. And I tend to pull up this bit and squirt here and then squirt here. And it gives your hair a lot more volume and texture. You do have to be careful though that you don't put too much of this on because I have done that and then it makes your hair really sticky and not very nice at all. So you literally only need a couple of sprays each side of your head, I would say. But this is sadly now running out and I think I may have to bite the bullet and get it, but I'm not sure yet. If you have something similar, I do pretend to prefer things to put on wet hair, then please let me know in the comment box below because I really want to try something that's a bit cheaper than this because that's ridiculous. Moving on to my favourite perfume of this year, which I sort of discovered early this year and now on my second bottle, it's the Eccentric Molecule 01 Perfume. Now I mentioned this a couple of times this year but I love this so much. Now when I actually met Este from Essie Buttons channel, she was wearing this and I had to ask her what she was wearing because she smelled so damn good and this is what it was so I, tend I went and got it and now as I say I'm on my second bottle and I'm loving it. This is meant to smell different on every person and sometimes it can smell quite strong, other times it can be quite subtle. So I think this is an amazing perfume. It retails at about £30 pound, I think. You can get this little refill bottle or you can get one that's in a nice box but I will just get the refill. It comes in like a packaging anyway but it just doesn't have a lid or like a nice package but I don't think you need that. But yeah I got this for Christmas so I don't know how quickly I'm going to get through this. I love it a lot. It's kind of, kind of a musky sweet smell. I'm really not very good at describing perfume but I think it's something that you might have to smell before you buy it. So I love it a lot. 
I forgot to mention another lip product which is a really good dupe for the MAC Please Me which I always grab in my handbag and it is the Collection Cream Puff in Cotton Candy which is again a really nice subtle pink but this is probably a little bit more obvious than the Please Me and this stays on really well as well because you just kind of have to reapply it and it probably stays on better than MAC Please Me actually. These are literally about three or four pounds so an amazing price definitely worth buying if you want to sort of check out something that kind of shade so I love this a lot and yeah I'm going to continue to buy these. Now I'm moving on to my non-beauty favourites and the first one is a book which just I have mentioned it in a favourites this year but I thought I would just show you what my favourite book of this year has been and it was by Jojo Moyes and it's Me Before You and the reason I'm talking about this is because it's one of those books that stayed with me and I think about it quite a lot and it's something that I really want a lot of other people to read and yeah it just sticks out in my mind when I think about all the books that I've read and this one definitely like comes into the forefront of my mind so I have loved reading this it is a really nice love story but it's got kind of it's not your average love story it's quite sad and make sure you get the tissues basically if you want to read it but if you have read this please let me know in the comment box below because None of my friends have read it and none of my family have read it so I can't talk to anyone about it but I love this so much and they're actually bringing a film out of this so I'm super excited to see the film as well so yeah it's definitely my favourite book of 2014. And my favourite clothing wear has to be my Clark's boots which have sadly gotten a bit dirty and worn and a bit sad but I actually bought these with the intention of wearing them over the summer but I've ended up wearing them throughout the whole of the year and I love them to pieces. They're nice like western boots and they're like ankles and they have gone a bit darker than they sort of should be but I have loved wearing them all the time so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching my 2014 favorites I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and um, so that I know that you're enjoying it and don't forget to comment as well because I like to comment back all the time and try and have a chat with you guys let me know in the comment box below as well what you have been loving this year and yeah I'll see you again soon bye